Apply directly to the forehead. Be ready. 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 Apply directly What is going on, ladies and gents? Welcome once again to E-Rev TV, where tonight we're going to be covering the Sevo A lower bracket finals between Legacy Esports and Dynamo. As we saw last week, Legacy Esports took out Seraphic 13-9, and uh, Dynamo on a bye. Uh, they've been off for about a week, uh, and they took on Dynamic and lost to them in the upper uh, brackets there, 13 to 8, and this is why we are here. The winner of this one will take on that same dynamic team for the Cebo A finals. Tonight, it's going to be casting, will be Shanks and Wansom, but before we get to that, we're going to talk again to the video man himself, the man, the myth, the legend, Limek. What's going on, Limek? Hey. Not much. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, it's going to be a great match tonight. Looking forward to that one. I think we're going to get a lot of fun. All right, ladies and gents, it will be on Backlot. So I'm going to hand it on over to Wansom and Shakes, as they're going to be making the call. So Wansom, what is going on, bro? How you doing? And I'm going to let you guys take it off. Hey, what's going on, Anger? Uh, appreciate you letting me and Shanks cast this one, man. It's going to be a fun one here on MP Backlot, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, pretty nade-heavy map. Uh, not pretty nade heavy, extremely nade heavy map. Going to see a lot, a lot of early nades going over the uh, middle buildings here. And uh, both teams are going to come very, very prepare, uh, prepared here as uh, the winner will go on for that Sevo A championship, which is, uh, you know, Anger, as I've stressed before, the most prestigious one you can win, uh, you know, regardless Sevo A, Sevo P, Cal Open, Cal Main. That first season is the one you want to walk away with. And, uh, Shanks, we got some familiar faces here on both teams, man. Why don't you uh, do a little roster rundown here? Yeah, I'm kind of looking at both teams. We got uh, pretty much everybody on the Dynamo team and uh, waiting on one on the uh, Legacy team. But uh, looking at Dynamo, most of the guys are uh, named uh, properly, but I'm going to kind of run through them here. We got uh, Nicholas Awesome, JTF2, Alec, and FRZG. Help me out with that one, Wansom. That's uh, Furious G there, Scope. Furious G, that's right, that's right. And uh, looking down on the uh, legacy side, again, we're uh, short one person, so as soon as we get that last one in here, we'll be uh, ready to go. But uh, who we have on the legacy side so far is Dirty German, Mark Beast, and Lith. Um, so I'm not uh, 
Not sure who the fifth is uh, going to be coming in here, but uh, again, we are going to be on back lot, so uh, should be uh, you know a, <laughs> a good matchup here. You know, um, you know, whoever the loser is uh, on this map today, they're still going to walk away with money. But you know, obviously, everybody's going to be fighting to uh, get in those finals. Uh, I believe um, as uh, Dynamo, who was um, I think they were like number two seed. Uh, they ended up getting defeated, but here they are. They're back, uh, fighting their way back into the finals. Uh, and then uh, they're going up again against uh, Legacy. Um, noticing uh, people on the Legacy side, some uh, names you've uh, heard from COD and uh, COD2. Definitely uh, Dirty German uh, and uh, Beast as well. Uh, what other players uh, have you uh, heard of before there, Wonsome? Well, you're definitely. I mean, I mean, this Dynamo team has has been, you know, terrific in COD4. They they did not come in as big names into this game. Uh, however, you guys have seen JTF2, Nicholas Templar, uh, Furious G, all in the uh, COD2, COD series. But they were pretty much Cal Open, Cal IM players, and they have really come in and made a name for themselves in Sevo and Cal. And uh, you know, honestly, I think this team probably should have been Sevo P from the start, and they'll definitely be be headed there uh, next season. Uh, actually, both of these teams you could probably look for in Sevo P. Uh, probably the top three placing teams in Sevo A will move on to Sevo P. So we'll see some uh, definitely good matchups there this next season in Sevo P. Uh, Dynamo did very well in Cal M, uh, performed very well, and they have really torn apart Sevo A coming in, like you said, Shanks, that number two seed, and uh, definitely vying for all the money here as they go on to take uh, Dynamic on if they do come away with the victory here. So. It looks like we're ready. Uh, all the screenshots are pretty much done now. Waiting on a couple people to ready up here. And uh, looks like we're going to have a good one tonight. Yeah, that's right. Just waiting on the last couple players to ready up. Everybody's done with their smoke screenshots and everything. So, uh, you know, could be could be a quick match. Could be a slow one. You know, I'm not real sure. I, you know, I don't even know who to pick for as far as who, who to have the advantage. I guess I'm going to have to go with uh, Dynamo since they started out as the number two seed. Everybody is readied up. I'm going to hand it over to you. Want some with your pick and uh, bring us into the first round. Yeah, I got to go with Dynamo right here, man. Uh, I love this team. I've watched them, and I love to see, uh, you know, Cal Open players from other games come in and make some noise uh, at the professional level here. So let's take a look this first round to play, what Dynamo is going to do on the defensive side here. Looks like they're going to do a pretty basic 2-1-2 uh, -two -two split here, 2-A, two 2-B, to to and 1-Middle. And looks like we have Templar and JTF2 coming into this A-bomb site pretty well uh, defended as they have not pushed there on the offensive yet. Uh, Illusion gets the first kill of the match for Legacy right there on Elec as uh, Furious G follows it up on Beast. So early uh, advantage here will go to Dynamo. They are up 4v3. And uh, Mark is going to take care of business there. Put down Furious G. Uh, things are all tied up now. I'm sorry. They're going to go up 3v2 here as uh, Dynamo is now down to, uh, looks like Dynamo Anger. Somebody wants <laughs> Anger in here, Anger. So oh, they anger. pulled a fast one on us there. And uh, even when Anger's not here, he still wins. So 60 seconds left on the clock here. We have Templar, and I believe that is um, uh, Nicholas there. So we'll have Nicholas and Templar going up against Mark and Liss here. About a minute left on the clock. Liz is playing in the top B apartments right now. Mark uh, is also in the top B apartments, so they will be headed to this B bomb site, Shanks. And it uh, looks like they got uh, plenty of time to get something done here. And uh, the Dynamo players are kind of splitting the sites. One's in the middle, one's in uh, the spawn right now. So plenty of time, smoke going up. Bomb being planted here by Mark. He's going to fake it first, check the laundry mat, and fake it again, check the laundry mat yet again. And uh, looks like he is going to get a kill there on Mark. Actually, Mark's going to get taken out there by, I believe that's Tim. Yeah, I believe that's, uh, they got to stop changing their name, Shank. This is messing with me too much, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're just going to have to call it, as it, uh, call it as it is. I, I'm going to call it Dynamo Awesome gets the kill there. So Anger is going to finish <laughs> things up here to make the first round in favor of Dynamo. And Anger strikes from behind the mic here to take that first round. Yeah, it was uh, kind of a uh, flanking battle there. I was I was watching uh, some of the Dynamo team uh, hanging out in their spawn and uh, Legacy kind of uh, flanking around a little bit. But uh, there you saw it. Uh, Dynamo comes out with the uh, with the first round, and here we go into round two. I'm going to focus in on the uh, Legacy team and uh, see where they're going to make in their rush at. Look as uh, 
Now it looks as if they're hanging back right now. Lots of shots coming over the middle. Uh, no kills. Actually, one kill as uh, uh, Lith is the first one to go down. And uh, Awesome sitting on top of Top A with the 74. Wow. Puts down Dirty German. GTF2 coming in, putting down uh, Mark. And Awesome with the uh, 74 taking out uh, another one of the Legacy Team Illusion. NP is the last one left. Let's focus in on him. See where he's at. Uh, trying to find him. And he's sitting over by the B-bomb site. And with the uh, AK-47. Uh, and putting down Furious G as he's uh, working his way into the B-bomb site, but <laughs> plenty of people up high seeing him as Hanger with the 47. Uh, finally puts <laughs> down Illusion, and now it's 2 to nothing. Dynamo over Legacy. Yeah, and that was definitely an interesting round there as Dynamo got four kills very, very ra rapidly, and uh, looked like Illusion split to the B-bomb site a little bit late there, but here comes Legacy on a full B-push, it looks like. Got Beast, Illusion, and Mark. All headed towards the uh, MG house right now, headed towards the B-bomb site. Elect goes down to a nice nade from Illusion there. Lots of smoke going up here at the B-bomb site. Middle is smoked, B is smoked, street is smoked. Furious G going to answer into Beast right there at the uh, top B apartment. So Dynamo does have control of the B apartments as well as mid-street and looks like laundry right now. As uh, JTF2 gets a nice little rat-a-tat-tat -tat on Dirty German there. So he is out and it is now all up to Mark, Liss, and Illusion. And let's cycle through and find them. Illusion is on the laundry stairs right now. Liss is in top mid, and that is not a great place to be as uh, <laughs> MGs are on. They're nerfed, but uh, my goodness, he just got mowed down by JTF2. And uh, that leads it up to Illusion and Mark. So let's find Mark here as he is making his way from the middle house towards front A. And again, this is multi-bomb, so they're not in a whole lot of trouble here as he gets an easy kill there on Awesome. So a little more manageable here, 3v2. Uh, Anger, JTF2, and Furious G, and I'm going to laugh every time I see that as uh, Illusion <laughs> takes out Anger. Because we so know GTF Anger isn't nearly that good of a player. <laughs> yeah, Anger's, Anger's not, not Sivo A. Not, well, I don't know. He might be Sivo <laughs> A. He could probably fish his way onto a Sivo P team. People love Anger. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Illusion and Mark still up here going up against JTF2 and Furious G. JTF2 is in top A. Uh, looks like Furious G is in top B, so they got both bomb sites covered. Mark is just waiting at the A bomb site right now, uh, seeing if anybody's going to peek the site. He's got plenty of time to plant here, about 20 seconds left. And uh, looks like he is going to give a fake plant. Uh, no, he's going to. No, yeah, he is going to fake and move towards the A stairs right now. And they're out of time as the bomb is planted at B. Pulled a fast one on me there. Furious G has plenty of time to defuse here. Oh. And they will do so as Dynamo picks up the round, making this 3 to 0 shanks. And uh, Dynamo showing why they came in as the number two seed here. Yeah, I was watching Furious G as he was hiding up in the top ruins above B, doing a great job getting his pick on uh, whoever planted. And then, uh, again, the uh, MG doing its damage to uh, upper A as Dynamo coming in uh, three to nothing. So here we are going into round four. Uh, looks like Legacy has their work cut out for them as they are on the hard side right now, but uh, this still is a fairly even-sided map. You, uh, you know, I would like to see somebody uh, getting in uh, at least, uh, you know, five, six rounds here on the... Uh, on the offense, but uh, let's see what happens. As it looks like uh, Legacy's doing a hard push into A as Lith comes in with the first uh, M4 shot as uh, Woo Dynamo <laughs> coming back with three kills in a row. Awesome getting a double kill as only 30 seconds is gone. All we have left is Lith and Dirty German. Anger's the uh, dead guy on the Dynamo side. <laughs> and Lith now the last one left. Let's see where he is at. And uh, nope, he goes down to Furious G. I didn't even see the last kill there. So four to nothing. Very quick quick round they were trying to do a hard push in the a didn't quite work for him on some yeah not so much there and legacy needs to make a big change here let's go into their war room right now Lamech. let's head there now and see if they can make an adjustment there's one guy that goes there get go nice I know the one that goes there. flash for so hard though I smoked to the most I smoked front so good happy 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 for sure happy Flash forever here. Something? He's over at the bank. He's the corner too, he's cornered as well. What are you doing? Come on! <laughs> relax, relax, relax. Right. 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 Back oh, to live man. action. <laughs> As uh, they did make a nice adjustment there, Shanks, and uh, actually had a nice team kill there from the MG, but they walked away with the round to make this 4-1, to one, and I agree with you. Very one-sided map, but if you can walk away with anywhere between, you know, four and five rounds on the offensive, you're going to be sitting pretty going into the defensive side, so uh, it'll be interesting to see if Legacy can keep up this uh, newfound momentum here. 
Yeah, you know, I was surprised to see them go right back to A after uh, getting smoked that first round, but that uh, <laughs> that mounted MG definitely doing its damage here so far. <laughs> I like coming in with a first kill on Dirty German, but Illusion uh, coming in with a double AK-47 kill on Anger, and I didn't see who else it was. Awesome coming back on the Dynamo side, putting uh, Lift down, and JTF2 getting a double AK-47 kill on the Beast, and Mark, kills going down like crazy. You've got JTF2 awesome going up against Illusion. Let's see what Illusion, he's the last guy left. He's sitting right on the uh, A-bomb site. Looks like he's maybe going to make a plant here. He's got lots of time, and he is going to put the plant down. I think he knows that the other two guys are uh, on the other side of the map here. So if he, uh, if he plays it smart here and stays covered, which he doesn't, he uh, might have pulled it out. But JTF2 making a rush in with the 74 and putting him down. And that's going to put yet another round into Dynamo's favor. Yeah, and JTF2 getting three kills that round. And... Uh uh, joint task force here doing an incredible job on this map uh, using an AK-74U like pretty much everybody else does on this map but uh, definitely working out in his favor and I want to remind you guys if you got any shout outs do you want to get on the air Anger is here and uh, I could probably tell you he's not here and he'd still get more shout outs than me but uh, get your <laughs> shout outs over to Anger on the E-Rev on the Game Search QuakeNet network uh, myself my name is Eric or Shanks and we'll get those on the air for you guys as uh, this round's going to start off early in favor of Dynamo's favor here, big time, as they are 5v2. Liss and Dirty German, the last one standing here. Dirty German bleeding out pretty heavily at the L turn and spawn, and Liss has not made his way out of spawn yet, so they are stuck right now. And uh, looks like uh, they're going to take their time here as Dynamo Awesome takes down Dirty German with a nice nade, and I believe that is Templar, and I'm not sure on that one. As Furious G cleans things up, uh, taking out Liss there to push this to 6-1. to one. And uh, give you guys a little scoreboard rundown here. And for Dynamo, we have JTF2 at 10 and 2, uh, Templar at 8 and 2, Furious G at 5 and 4, and I believe it's Nicholas at 6 and 4. On the other side of the spectrum here, we have Illusion at 8 and 6. Uh, the rest of his team performing pretty unimpressively here. As Dirty German and Beast only have one kill, Shanks. Yeah, I'm watching the uh, Dy Dynamo team, and they absolutely dominated the A side as Anger and Austin pushed through and just killed everybody right out of their spawn. So uh, Legacy definitely getting pushed back. They can't even get out of spawn as we speak in this round. we got three people stuck still in spawn as Anger and Awesome just dominating that A side. I'm watching, uh, oh, that was uh, Dirty German <laughs> I was watching as Awesome hanging out on top. Of, uh, of A, and same as uh, JTF2 as they're coming in. Beast getting the headshot, but uh, JTF2 coming in with a kill of his own, just dominating this legacy team as Mark and Beast are the last ones left. Let's pick it up with Beast as he is stuck in spawn, trying to peek his way around. He knows there's people sitting up on top of A, but looks like he's going to maybe retreat. Nope, now he's going to change his mind. He's shooting with the 74 long distance across the map. He's not going to get a kill shot from that far away with that submachine gun. Mark coming in with a 74 shot into Elect, and that's going to make it a uh, two versus three disadvantage for Legacy. They're trying to clutch this coming back as Beast has backed off, made his way back, and looks like he's uh, working his way over towards the B-bomb site. Spots somebody up towards Ruin, so he's going to sneak his way up. And uh, no shots being exchanged here as uh, whoever is sitting up in the Ruin spotted him as well. So uh, they ended up backing off. So we got Beast uh, sitting right out in front of Ruins. And let's see where his teammate is. Uh, we got Mark that is uh, hopping in. Uh, yeah, he's actually uh, towards the, the Dynamo spawn. Now he's sitting right on top of B. Uh, again, shots being exchanged. It's Mark putting down the plant, but Furious G there with the 47 to put him down. 13 seconds left in the round <laughs> as Beast comes in with a kill. But JTF2 right there to clean it up. It's now 7-1. to one. Uh, Dynamo just doing a great Great job on the defense here, Eric. Yeah, absolutely, and they're they're proving, you know, not to toot my own horn here, but uh, why they probably should have been CVOP to begin with. But uh, let's go to Dynamo's War Room right now. Let's see what the mood's like in there and see if they can keep the pressure on. Let's go there now, Limek. Top B, top B, top B. It's already up there. It's going to the cross. Copy that. Oh my god. <laughs> Sight. Bye, MG. I think one might be in our spawn. Oh, right. Right. Take, take, take. Oh, middle, 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 middle. 
Middle! Inner spawn, inner spawn, inner spawn, inner spawn, sorry. Nice job, Bob. Thanks, sorry. Good job, yes. that middle. Alright, we're gonna come back to live action here as Dynamo picks up another round there. Uh, Dirty German trying to hold him off as the bomb was planted, but they got plenty of time to defuse. And uh, <laughs> another great round by Dynamo Shanks. They're uh, definitely playing at the top of their game right now at 8-1. Yeah. to one. Uh, Got two more rounds here until halftime. Yeah, that's for sure. You know, it, it is kind of a fun game to watch. But I guarantee you, this legacy team is not having fun. As uh, you know, we'll, we'll get in their vent again. But here we are, uh, as as we are getting close to halftime. Here, uh, we're gonna watch the legacy team uh, smoke out towards the middle. Looks like they are gonna push in towards the A bomb site. Lots of kills coming in. Dirty German coming in with a kill, but Anger answering back, putting down Illusion. So a lot of gun battles going down here at the A bomb site as they have made an A push. So we're uh, we're kind of following Beast as he's made his way up onto. Uh, into top A, as I'm sure uh, a lot of the Dynamo team is going to be uh, focused in on A, and they're all going to be rotating that side as we have Elect oh. jumping out of the mid building, trying to come in. JTF2 with a double kill, Furious G with a kill of his own. So huge kills coming down as Beast is the last one left. They just can't get into this A bomb site and get a plant down. Beast hanging out to the stairs. Finds JTF2 trying to sneak around on him. So now it's a one on two situation. Furious G uh, against the Lek. The Lek has found him as Beast is just hanging out in the top. There is no bomb being planted as of yet. As uh, looks like the Dynamo team knows where their target is and they're moving their way in. We have Furious G that's made his way all the way back to the Legacy uh, flank to their spawn. And we got a Lek has finally found uh -oh. his target with the 74. Puts down Beast. Was that a wall shot? No, that was uh, that was a mounted MG versus 74U, and the 74U came out on top. <laughs> so uh, that was definitely interesting to watch. There, as Dynamo cleans up another round in their favor. This will be the last round before halftime. I believe we're at nine to one right now. So uh, definitely a great half here for Dynamo Gaming, and uh, definitely gonna probably see them move on. I'm gonna make my you know make my stance positive here, as I believe Dynamo will walk away with this one pretty quickly as I'm sure the morale of the Legacy team is pretty low right now, Shanks. So uh, let's take a look at this round as we are tied up. Uh, well, actually, JTF2 going to get another mounted MG kill there on Mark. And Furious G going to follow that up with another kill. And ladies and gentlemen, JTF2 is 18-4 and four right now. And he is just going berserk right now with a 74. And there he gets another <laughs> kill on Dirty there German. You go. Uh, could see a 20 bomb here before half if he can pick off Liss as he is playing at the tin can area. He might get it, and he does from underneath the tin can area. 20 bomb before half, 10 to, uh, 10 to 1 here. We got another round, my mistake. So 20 to 4 um, is JTF2's kill to death ratio, and he is, you know, I wouldn't say he's <laughs> carrying his team shanks, but he's definitely helping out right now. Yeah, that's for sure. As he's sitting at 20 and 4, him and Furious G have just been cleaning up this round as we are going into the last round of the half. Uh, Legacy definitely has their work cut out for them. They have got to get around here if they have any chance of winning this match here. Uh, Furious G coming in with a first nade kill as he comes in with a 47 shot as well. Nicholas with a double kill with a 74, but Lith <laughs> coming back on the other side taking down Nicholas. So now Lith is the last one. Let's find out where he's at, and he is is put down by awesome I couldn't even get there in time just a uh, bloodbath here uh, legacy just cannot get any rounds in as they are down 11 to 1 going into half here folks yeah definitely so so we'll wait on everybody to ready up here and uh, I'll take this time uh, plug a sponsor here this this match is being played in a v2 game servers.com uh, server wonderful servers all your website hosting ventrilo and game server needs check out v2gameservers.com uh, for all your server needs and anything gaming related so uh, definitely check those guys out we got their banner down at the bottom of our uh, casting window there so check them out and uh, they're sponsoring dynamo so uh, that's why we're playing on their server right now so uh, just waiting on uh, looks like uh, some spectators to ready up here uh, not gonna mention who but uh, some specs <laughs> waiting to ready up so uh, E-Rev's ready to go, and uh, we'll get this next half of course, away. we're always Shanks. ready. That's because we know what the <laughs> hell we're doing. Nobody else seems to. <laughs> yeah, definitely so. 
All right, right well, so. here we are. We're, we're going into uh, the second half here, and uh, we're going to kind of focus in on the uh, Dynamo since I was watching Legacy most of the time here, and I'd be kind of curious to see what their offense is going to have here. Uh, they only need uh, two rounds to take away the match win here. As again, they are ahead 11 to 1. Looks like they are making a hard push towards the A bomb site. They're trying to put this map away right away. As uh, oh, actually, they have slowed down the rush. Looks like they were trying to make their way into the A bomb site. One person has made their way in, but Beast is there to stop him with a headshot into Awesome Mark coming in with a 74 against Furious G and Beast with the uh, AK 47 putting down JTF2. So, uh, right off the bat, uh, Legacy doing a uh, pretty good job here as they are all posted up, but Nicholas with the 74 puts down Beast. It is now a uh, three on two situation as. Uh, Legacy again is posted up in a defensive position. Let's see where the rest of the dynamo is. We got a Lek going up into uh, mid building, looking over towards the B bomb site, and somebody's on the plant here. Let's see who that is. That was Nicholas, but that was a fake plant as uh, he draws out Illusion and puts him down with a 74. We got a minute and four seconds left in this round. He toggles the bomb again, trying to pull somebody out as it's a two-on-two -two situation as uh, we're watching Nicholas as he takes some heat and now electric with a headshot in the mark and now this Dynamo team has come back uh, from the dead this round as Lith is the only one uh, left and here we go Nicholas with the plan as he's taking heat through the wall and uh, Lech, uh putting down Lith with a 47 and there you have it 12 to 1 is your score <laughs> Dynamo into the winning round here let's uh, let's go over to uh, Dynamo's Ven here for possibly the last round here Limec it's Russ B baby okay keep over to it I'm gonna get an asshole made Oh, double nade at B. Two nades at B. Oh, he's top B. Top B. He went left side, Mike. Yeah. Probably one middle below me, like red or some shit like that. But I'm too busy. Wait, wait. Be young, don't be. Dead. Oh, oh asshole! Oh, going oh. through, going through. He's 66 side now. Like far side. Oh, oh shit. There you have it. Mark putting down uh, the last player who was, I believe, uh, Alec, but I'm not sure. But uh, <laughs> Legacy uh, crawling uh, their way back into this match. As, uh, again, uh, Dynamo in the, uh, <laughs> in the tying round here. I'm going to hand it over to you, uh, Eric, and uh, bring us in uh, the next round here. Yeah, we'll do. I wouldn't say they're, they're crawling back in. I'd say they're fighting for pride right now. As they're going to get another round here as Furious G eats a car. Uh, probably a self team name <laughs> there as if they're trying to blow up the cars to get in. And it uh, looks like Nicholas will be the last one left here as they have finally changed one of their names back. Looks like we were calling that one correctly. So uh, it will be Nicholas going up against Mark, Illusion, and Liss here. And uh, let's take a look as we have Mark and Illusion both playing in the red container area there in middle. And it uh, looks like Nicholas will be firing onto the A bomb site where I believe, uh, uh, I believe Illusion or Mark will be. Or, yeah, Mark has pushed up, so. Uh, List still playing back by the back dumpster, taking control of that B site, so Illusion moving in. Going to take out Nicholas to give uh, Legacy another round here. And, uh, you know, i got to say, they're probably just fighting for pride right now, Shanks. Uh, I think they're pretty much out of this one. Uh, you know, Dynamo has outgunned them thus far and definitely shown that they're a pretty superior team right now. And uh, still got to give props to Legacy here. It's not over yet. We could see something amazing, but uh, Legacy definitely made some noise here. Uh, the last two weeks getting a lot of props from a lot of teams for being very well prepared. But, uh, you know, I look for Dynamo to take this in the next couple rounds here, Shanks. Yeah, I think you're right. And then uh, just, to, just to reflect, only in COD 4 can you say you ate a car. I don't think you'll ever hear that anywhere else but here. <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyways, back to the action here. We're watching Dynamo as uh, JTF2 working his way through the mid. Uh, dude is just tearing it up. He is uh, sitting at 22 and 7. So uh, I shouldn't say he's carrying his team because his team's doing a great job as uh, JTF2 coming in with yet another kill. First kill of the round as uh, Beast also uh, he goes down as uh, Lith also goes down to uh, Lek. Illusion coming back on the other side, putting down uh, Elect there as well. So now three-on-three three situation. Uh, Dynamo just trying to get the win out here. As uh, we're focused in, <laughs> Dirty German with the Deagle trying to take somebody down across the map. That was pretty hilarious, but uh, he's sitting up on uh, top eight. Let's see where the rest of this... Uh, uh, legacy team is we got Mark who is over. Yeah, he looks like he's covering the entrance into a and uh, other teammate here illusion is God I can't even tell where he's at. He's off hiding in the weeds anyways But uh, let's go back to the action as dynamo awesome coming in with the AK 47 putting down dirty German 40 seconds left Illusion versus mark the last two left two on three situation could be the end of their season here as illusion comes in uh, putting down uh, Nicholas and mark uh, with the 74 putting down JTF2. We got 25 seconds left. It is now a two on one situation. Awesome is the last one left. We're focused in on him as he, he was sitting in mid and Mark coming in with the 74 yet again, putting him down. So Mark doing a great job that round as uh, it is now 12 to 4 Dynamo over Legacy. Yes, indeed. And uh, Shanks, and I'm, I'm going to offer for a little bit of Cal Open advice here. Uh, Dirty German, you're about to get critiqued. Uh, lose the silencer, man. Uh, no more deep impact. You, you, you gotta, you know, you, you're gonna have to get rid of that silencer. It's great for keeping yourself hidden, but definitely has not paid off. As Dirty German is six and seventeen right now, eats a nade this round. So early on, Dynamo is up here. And uh, looks like they're going to be pushing uh, pretty evenly oh. to the bomb sites. As Furious G and JTF2 open up with two kills. And JTF2 is walking on water right now, Shanks. He doesn't care. He's bulletproof. He's just walking wherever he wants to go. And they have control of this A bomb site as Liss is dropped. And this is the end, ladies and gentlemen. Mark is the only one left standing, playing at the middle building. Uh, so he's going to fire on to JTF2 on the roof. That was a pretty funny ragdoll. <laughs> he gets another kill on Furious G, and he's going to get flanked here by a Deagle. He's still living. I don't know how. And uh, Nicholas dancing around the red container with him here. He's going back and forward. Uh, going to come around the corner, get another <laughs> kill. He's brought this to 1v2. So Mark could do the incredible right here as he gets oh. killed by a lack. <laughs> nice try there, Mark. Great job. 13-4 to here in favor of Dynamo Gaming. They will go on to face Dynamic. Uh, in the SIBO A finals, and we'll definitely be casting that one for you guys. So a great game to both teams. It was a lot of fun to cast, and uh, look forward to uh, the, the uh, finals matchup here, Shane. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, you know, I don't think uh, you and I are going to disagree on this at uh, JTF2. Definitely the uh, player of the match there. As uh, it, it, Nobody could stop him. He would just go wherever on the map and absolutely just tear it down with that AK-47. Uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to go ahead and do it. Let's pull him down here. Uh, JTF2 is here. Limec, if you want to queue it up. Uh, JTF2, you are uh, down in the match here. Uh, 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 and uh, 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 I'm uh, uh, just ripping that uh, uh, apart. Uh, uh, like the guys uh, uh, there, man. Great, great match. What did you guys expect from Legacy? Uh, first of all, thanks a lot, and thanks for casting. Um, we scrimmed Legacy a while back, must have been a while ago, but they, uh, they went B a lot, so we were kind of expecting them to push B a lot, which they did. So I felt that we were pretty ready for that, and we seemed to shut them down pretty well on uh, defense. Yeah, definitely. So you guys definitely shut them down uh, pretty heavily there going up. Uh, I believe they got one round on you guys, so... Uh, you know, looking forward, this one's in the past. You guys have moved on, and, you know, I've always thought this entire season you guys probably should have been Sevo P. But, uh, you know, what would a Sevo A championship mean to you guys, other than the money, of course? Well, it'd be huge. I think it'd be a big stepping stone for our team because uh, we've always been kind of underrated. You know, we started off as COD 2 nobodies, and we're slowly starting to get respect. We're in the top ten now, and, of course, the money would be good. It'd be uh, nice to get some free cash. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, you know, the last question I got, man, uh, you know, what do you think of Dynamic? How are you guys going to prepare? I mean, without giving too much away, what do you guys think of them? Uh, they're a great team. They surprised us, really. Like, we played them on Overgrown, which isn't much of a good map, but uh, we beat them pretty handily. But we were definitely surprised by how they dominated us on Crash. They beat us, like, 13-8 or something, but it wasn't even that close. So I guess we're just going to have to really prepare and get the Frenchies to nade nonstop, and maybe we'll have a chance if we can just nade them to death. That's my plan. <laughs> Definitely so. Shanks, you got anything? 
Well, Eric, you took all the questions straight out of my mouth. You asked all the ones that I wanted to ask, but uh, I, I think I got one more. As, as we do go into the finals match here, uh, you guys have a, a prediction about uh, what map you're possibly going to pick? Uh, to be honest, we haven't even talked about it, so uh, I probably wouldn't be able to tell you, but if I was going to guess... I'd pick a map that we've done well on in the past, so I'll just say that. Yeah, that's, and that was that was what I, my follow-up question is. Uh, what what do you guys feel are your uh, strong maps uh, going into the finals here? I thought Crash was one of our stronger ones until we got beat by them. And back lot, we're good on defense, but we seem to be awful on offense. But I'd say uh, the close quarter maps are what we're better at. So we're better at the vacants, the back lots, the crashes, uh, city streets, those sort of maps and less of the big open ones. Gotcha. Well, again, uh, congratulations on a uh, big win here tonight. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, we are going to be covering uh, the match, I believe it is, Thursday. Anger, are you here with us? Uh, do we have a schedule yeah. for the uh, finals match? Yeah, yeah. Once we get the time set up, everything uh, should be good to go. But i got, I got to bring in a special guest for Joint. But before I do, we're going to have to cool you down, Joint. I was just hearing, like, Wansom call your name out so much, man. I mean, you were burning hotter than gonorrhea it was ridiculous how <laughs> how on fire you were oh dude God. but but right now i'm gonna bring in a special guest for you joint i'm bringing in jesse from dynamic and i know this is a revenge oh. match between you two teams now you guys could talk it up right here jesse welcome in how you doing bro hey not too bad how about yourself all right all right any predictions Jess. right now? You got them Jesse. right here, Jesse and Joint. Jesse, I got a question for you, Jesse. How many Frenchies do you have on your team? Zero. Then you're in a lot of trouble. Enough said. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, let's just try not to dispute this time around, okay? Oh. Did, this, did the dispute go through? No did, bit. Did you dispute? Did you dispute? <laughs> and I, I heard you talk about the, the overgrown match. Was that against this roster or was that against my old roster? Hey, I stuck in the overgrown <laughs> bad map. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let me break it up now. Let me break it up. We'll save it for the match. Save it for the match. Get a knife. Get a knife, Jesse. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. <laughs> well, anyway, I'd like to welcome, or thank both guys for coming in. It's all in good fun. I know uh, they have a lot of respect for each other. At least I hope, and I know they do, though. It's just a game and all and all. But yeah, uh, yeah. it's and, and all, it's all to, good. Uh, I do have to give JTF, too, since uh, we do allow everybody that uh, comes in to interview. Uh, you got any uh, shout-outs that you want to get before we uh, kind of finish things up here? I uh, just want to shout-out to my team, Dynamo, everybody involved with that, RP, Little Haste, and Haste Senior. Uh, that's about all. Maybe Leisha as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, great match, JTF, and uh, we'll catch you guys next week, man, both you guys. Jesse, uh, good luck to both teams. We'll see you guys there. Um, yep, Anger, yep. you got any, got any shout-outs tonight, man? Because I got Bupkiss, man. They, they had to come to you. Well, I have a couple real quick. I have one from Tan G from Clutch. JTF2 made me cream my pants. That is from <laughs> Tang G. Um, I have one here from Boo. Shout out to Wansom, best leader of team could have. He broke out of jail and played in our cow match before he went to the hospital for his broken hand. And yes, you know, there's been rumors that, yes, he broke his hand, but we know how he did it. He was watching two girls in one cup. <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely what it was. It was, it was overuse. I uh, got a fart porn out as well. <laughs> oh God! I just, I just have to, I have to say something too. And I don't know who it was, Joint, but who changed your name to Anger? Was it, was it Temp or Nick? Nicola. Yeah, that's my, that's my Frenchies over there, man. You know, it, it's funny because I, I heard Shanks uh, calling out you know my name even though we know it was one of them and I was getting man I was rubbing them out left and right because to have my name called in a match by Shanks just my name alone even though I wasn't playing man I just oh I felt like well I felt pro I felt like it was ooh, Sivo AP I felt it all right there <laughs> yeah keep dreaming there buddy I know, wow. I know I just jumped in the channel to listen to anger talking about rubbing one out <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. All right. All right. Well, Watson, why don't you carry it, carry it to the rest of the way there? Put it to bed, bro. Well, Shanks, you got any shout-outs, man? Because uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm out. I, I want to remind everybody again to check out v2gameservers.com. It was the server we played in tonight. 
Uh, great pings, great registration, no complaints. So check out v2gameservers.com uh, for all your gaming-related needs. Website, Ventrilo, game servers, whatever you guys need. But uh, that'll do it for me, Shanks, unless you got some shout-outs. Uh, now, I pretty much just got one uh, from uh, Seiko over at the uh, Dynamo. He's the editor over there, so uh, he, had, he had some uh, stuff to say. So I wanted to say hi back to him. Uh, thanks for watching the match tonight. And, uh, no, that's, uh, that's about all I got. So uh, this is uh, Big Daddy Shanks live from Hong Kong, the real Sin city. Las Vegas ain't got nothing on this place. Over to you, Anger. Close us out. All right, just one more quick shout-out joint. Go ahead, bro. I know you had one more. Just want to shout out to V2 Game Service for giving us free servers so I can keep my money for more important things. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that is it. I guess I want some. We'll have this definitely on Thursday. Make sure to watch it only, but here at EREV TV. Go ahead, want some, put it to bed. Yeah, that'll do it for us, guys. You uh, just witnessed the Seaboy lower bracket finals. Uh, had Dynamo coming out on top of Legacy. And uh, final score, I believe, was 13 to 4. So great game to both teams. And we'll see you guys next week. We're we're out of here. E-Rev, applied directly to the forehead. E-Rev, applied directly to the forehead. E-Rev is not responsible for any monitor to head-related injuries due at your own risk.